Chris, congratulations on the death of Superman. Movie. Thank you, sir. It's a weird thing to congratulate me. I'm not responsible for the death of Superman. Just to be clear, it's not my fault. So why is this the right time for such an iconic arc to be in this, uh, you know, in this movie? For it to arrive. Uh, listen, I, I think more than anything, the biggest selling point for this movie is just it's really good. Yes. You know, it's uh, this is a story that's been told before. Um, I think for the fans of the original story, they will be happy in how uh, that story has been respected. Um, but for guys like me who weren't really into comic books growing up, uh, there's a lot to love about this movie. It's just a really good movie. Uh, there's some great relationships between the characters. It's really funny. There's great action scenes. And then there's some real like, solid emotion at the end of the film. So for my fans, what's your character in this one? So I play the Flash. Yes. Love the Flash. Yes. Everybody loves this. Is, it's clearly everyone's favorite character is the Flash. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> but there's some really fun stuff for him in this movie. Hey, good, good. good to see you. Yeah, see you yeah. 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 yeah, I like the scruffy look. I like it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, a it's, a little, it's a little itchy. Uh, <laughs> so congratulations on the death of Bat. Oh, the death of Superman. <laughs> Batman's not dead yet. Not yet. <laughs> for my fans who may not be familiar with the iconic arc, talk a bit about your role as Batman in this one. So Batman obviously is... Um, uh, you know, Batman and Superman are the ostensible um, leaders of the Justice League. The Superman and Clark Kent have their hands full, really, with what's going on, sort of with Lois, and he's got uh, parent family issues going on, which are very important to him. Um, and Batman and the Justice League, it almost feels like they're kind of just getting on with the day to day, that there hasn't been a crisis in some time. So when Doomsday comes in out of nowhere, literally out of nowhere and lands on the planet, they're not ready. And, um, you know, Batman always preaches that the Justice League's got to stick together. And obviously, the Justice League is really built around the power of Superman. And uh, Superman's not really uh, ready, and neither are the rest of them. And over time, they get picked off one by one, and it's it's pretty devastating to watch. Now this story has gone through many incarnations and versions. Yeah. And so, why is t today or this time is the right time for this new take again? Why do we need to have it again? Now, are are some of the themes that you want the audiences to con to take away? I mean, certainly, um, you know, you could say that the death of Superman indicates that the death of hope. But I think it's also important to be reminded that even when. Um, things are bad that we need to hang on to hope and sometimes we just need to kind of ride ride it out and uh, and wait for our moment uh, so that we can make a change you know um, so uh, I, I would say I would say it does have something to say about current world but it's also important to note that while the poster seems hopeless and the title seems hopeless that actually the film ends on a on a, on a slightly upbeat note so I think that's important even in these tough times to just uh, to uh, just never lose lose sight of the hope